still trying to figure out my pump situation, but he insists on me going somewhere with him. So I'm pumping on the go. Pumping and traveling. We are at the gas station. I'm making a mess. We literally just got out the shower. Gave me no opportunity to look halfway decent. And as you can see, I got my boobs in. You can't really see it. Like, actually, my boobs look you know, kind of natural. Like, you would have to actually look twice. I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear it pretty silent you can't really hear it that that good but stay in there doing anything um i'm actually trying to get used to a good bra to wear these things with because the bra really does matter this is literally the first day of me using these things what? it's only my business i'm not talking to you what <laughs> I think that was a whoa. Anyway, this is the first day of me using these things, so I'm not quite used to them. I'm still trying to figure them out. I'm still trying to figure out how to position them good and what bra works the best with them. Um, so far, sports bras, at least my sports bra isn't really working that well. I think it's too tight, so it's not really letting down that good, but I'm trying to figure it out with my expensive pump. So I'm in a parking lot and uh, I'm looking at the app and the app told me that one of my, my left boob was full, um, though it really wasn't full. Uh, let me show you guys. Um, this is my left boob and as you can see, the container isn't really full. Um, I have the reusable uh, containers, so I don't use those bags. Um, here is the right boob, which was still pumping. Uh, this is the right boob. See how full that is? Super full. So I don't know why it's saying that the left boob is full. Uh, clearly it's not anywhere near full. Uh, my left boob is my slacker boob. Uh, that thing doesn't really produces that much milk. But, uh, let me show you guys something. This is very fucking important. Um, on the top of this, uh, there's like these switches. Um, it say one and two. One means the uh, air is open. Uh, the air valve or whatever the fuck you call it is open. Two means it's closed. So right now it's on two. Um, this is very fucking important because this is probably my third fucking time uh, spilling milk for not closing it when I do the flip to finish uh, which seems to be working well except for the fact that I don't flip the damn air vent close uh, so what happens is when I turn it upside down for the flip to finish for it to gulp that little bit of last milk in the uh, uh, whatever you call it the flange um, what happens is when you flip it because that air vent is still open fucking water I mean, milk spills out of it, which is very disappointing. So here I am in the car doing my flip to finish. Uh, it's starting to dry, but I spilled some milk on my lap. Um, thank God I have really quick hands, and I've done this a few times all fucking ready. So I reacted pretty fast, so I didn't waste that much milk. But this is very disappointing, the fact that I keep forgetting to flip that damn air vent closed before I do my flip to finish. Um, so I think you should actually uh, flip the switch from uh, open to close, one to two, uh, before you actually take the pump off of your boob. That's probably best practice. That way you won't forget before you do the flip to finish, which I think I'd just be so eager to do the flip to finish because there's milk in the flange when you finish pumping. Uh, I'd be so eager to just flip it uh, to collect that little bit of last milk that I always forget to close the vent. And that shit spills on me all the fucking time. Um, so I'm disappointed because this is the third fucking time that I've done it. But it's 100% it's my fault. Um, so maybe next time I won't fucking do that. But the cool thing is 
I pumped a fuck ton of milk. Even though the app told me that I pumped uh, 1.7 ounces from this particular boob, and there's definitely way more milk than 1.7 ounces uh, in here, which is interesting that it's not recording accurately. Um, and the funny thing is in my left boob, it said that I pumped the same exact amount, which, which obviously there's way less I mean, this is probably 1.7, if not more than that, but it's definitely not the same as the right boob. So I can't for the life of me <coughs> figure out why the app isn't recording that correctly, uh, which would be nice to know, you know, how much you pump. But, you know, as long as it's pumping, that's the only thing I really care about. Um, so, so far, so good. Still figuring it out. Still fucking up. Um, I will continue to vlog about it. So I've had the willow for about seven days now and it's been a rough seven days um, to be honest for the most part I've almost given up uh, I've done a lot of reading I, I almost called the willow hotline I almost called the willow hotline but before I did so I thought let me do a little bit more research on the bra that I should be wearing so um, I did some research on the bra the preferred bra which you would think like willow would have like a list of bras to go shop I guess they don't want to promote other people's brand but I found an article uh, with someone talking about a bunch of different bras that they try with the willow uh, to get it to work and the bra really does make all the difference um if you don't got the right bra it the suction is going to be off and it won't work uh, which i was running into um i had some really great days and then i had some really bad days um so uh with having a newborn baby and all you want to be able to have the most milk possible for him or her to eat so what I was doing is going back to my Medela pump, uh, this uh, pumping style advanced, this one right here. I will go back to this one uh, when after attempting and failing with the willow. Uh, so I almost gave up because I'm like, I need, I need, I need milk. <laughs> I can't fuck around with things like that. So if the willow isn't working then you know i had to pump something so i would go back to that after trying with my willow um but i just got some new bras yesterday um i'll leave a link below of the bras um that i purchased that seem so far have been working great um what it seems like it is is uh, the bra has to be like v-shaped um, like a v-neck and the reason for that being is there needs to be like some type of fabric at the top to hold the top part of the willow down so if the top part of this willow isn't really close to your boob your suction is off and um you're 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 not gonna be pumping um so it's day two with these bras and uh i am expressing a lot more milk more consistently so every time i use the willow i express milk before i'll be pumping for like 20 minutes and i don't have anything which is a little nerve-wracking um but it seems like these bras are working really well um so i am going to probably use the willow for another week with these new bras before i actually upload this video so you guys can have a really accurate um review on my experience with the willow pump uh, but so far so good um the other night i actually slept with the willow pump on for like 20 30 minutes i woke up and um, what happens is after 25 minutes the willow uh pauses and if you want to continue to pump you have to um hit the um start button again and it'll continue to pump um but yeah i fell asleep with it on yesterday and uh which is awesome. It seems to work better when you lean back, which is interesting because every other pump that I've had, you have to kind of lean forward to get the milk to flow. Um, so that is a very plus side of this particular pump. Um, I don't know if it's not recommended to sleep with it, but I haven't seen any like warning signs. Do not sleep with the willow pump on. So when I pump it in the middle of the night, I think I will continue to you know, kind of doze off. And the good thing is it doesn't like fall off and you don't spill milk or nothing. You just 
when you wake up, take it off and empty out the milk. And that's what I've been doing. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed that part of having a willow pump. Like, being able to, like, relax and pump at the same time. Or, you know, scroll on Instagram and pump hands-free. Or, oh, I need to wash dishes. Or I'm in the middle of a cookie. Um, the other day I was at a relative house. And I, um... I put my pumps on in the bathroom and sat in the living room with the family and pump. But the pump, I couldn't get the pump to work because I had the wrong bra on. So I was frustrated because I was just sitting there with relatives um, trying to adjust the pump to get it to pump. But it just wasn't working because I didn't have the right bra on, which is very, very frustrating. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm, I'm back on the right path and I'm hoping that my experience changes drastically because of the fact that uh, I, was, I had a really tough week, which is um, common. I've read a lot that, you know, it's taken people a couple weeks to get adjusted to this new pump and, and get it to work regularly. So I think I'm on the right path. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I am pumping. You can see the willow. Um, uh, I think that it's supposed to be, like, completely covered. Like, this one is, like, covered really good. This one, you know, could probably use a little bit more coverage. But this bra is, like, damn near like a t-shirt. It, like, covers the willow completely. Uh, and I think that's very important. Um, so I've been able to get to express mode um, faster with the... They with this new bra but only my only thing is something's wrong with my app so i think i will call the willow hotline to talk to them about my app because for some reason the right willow always detaches um so it's it's connected by bluetooth so it's supposed to tell you how long you've been pumping and how much you have pumped but for some reason the right one always disconnects um so i have no idea what's going on with the right one i'm like freestyling blind with the right one and the left one is all recorded so that's very weird to me i looked up some troubleshooting on why it could be disconnected and i can't figure it out um, I restarted my phone and it connect, but in the middle of the session, it would disconnect. So that is something that I'll probably reach out to them for to figure out why it's not working. Even though, like, you know, I don't really care for the app, but, you know, just starting off, I'm, you usually, like, want to watch things to make sure you're on the right path. Um, even though f f flying blind, I've been doing quite fine on the right side because that's that's my good boob. My left one is my slacker boob, uh, meaning it doesn't pump nearly uh, as much as the as much milk as the right one does. Um, so it always, every time I take it off, there's always milk in there, so even though it's not recording it through the app. So whatever. The only thing I care about is actually pumping milk. So my baby keep, and that's happening. So so far so good. Um, I'll probably do a few more updates before I upload this video again. So stay tuned, and I hope so far this video is useful. So keep watching. All right, guys. So it's been about three weeks since I started using the Willow wireless pump. So I think it's a pretty good time for me to give you guys a review. Uh, so let's just hop right on into it. So first off, I want to just say I don't believe the Willow does a as good of a job as the my Modelo pump and style advanced pump um, I just feel like the Modelo does a better job at emptying me out throughout the day um, my Willow does a really great job um, when I am fuller so first thing in the morning maybe second pump in the morning um, the Willow does a really great job at emptying me out um, Throughout the day, I have less milk. Uh, I want to say I pump on average maybe like three ounces uh, throughout the day when I pump every three hours. Um, and usually my slacker boob, my left boob that's pumping right now, um, only expresses about an ounce when the right expresses about two ounces. So um, that's pretty standard. Um and that's all good and gravy and the Medela might be something similar if not a little bit more uh, my only thing is to only pump out one ounce on my left boob um, 
it's a lot of work to actually clean out all the parts from my uh, container. Uh, so the way I feel is if I'm only going to get three ounces, only one ounce for one boob, but then I got to turn around and clean out all of these parts, it's really not worth it unless I'm just, um, not in, uh, a good place for me to sit down and pump with my medulla. So I'm, uh, on a go or at someone else's house, it, it is perfect for me to use my willow pump. But when I'm at home and I'm not doing anything, I don't have company. I don't find it necessary to actually use my willow. Uh, so I would actually sit in my designated spot, which is actually right here on this couch. And I would just pump with my Modella because it's easier for me to clean my Modella parts. Um, and I feel like it does a really great job um, at um, expressing and in emptying me out. So next I want to say uh, my Modella pump um actually empties me out faster um so they might have a similar amount of what it expresses except i will be on a so sorry my son's crying one second all right i'm back excuse that noise in the background it's my son's swing <laughs> he likes the birds chirping so let him chirp on so anyway uh like i was saying Sorry. Like I was saying, um, with the Medela, um, I could probably empty out uh, within 15 minutes. Uh, with the Willow, um, I usually go through a full cycle, which is 25 minutes. So after 25 minutes, the pump shuts off. Um, and sometimes uh, I would have to pump even longer than 25 minutes to feel like I'm fully empty out. Um, and I've noticed when I've sat there for like 40 minutes, um, I would get a lot more milk expressed out. He don't want his mom to vlog today. All right, so let's move on to the app. Um, the app is all good in gravy in terms of keeping track of how much milk you've uh, expressed during a, a session. Uh, but one thing is I always have an issue with the right pump. The right pump always disconnects. And I'm not quite sure if it's like a Bluetooth issue or what, but it always disconnects. Like literally that count will freeze or it'll just stop recording it, uh, which is interesting because um, I can't really tell when it goes into expression mode and I can't um, tell how much um, I've pumped from my right boob. Uh, so I do have an issue with the app um and uh i i don't understand why it keeps disconnecting i've even tried to uh, troubleshoot my bluetooth connection but it never uh, it never fails the the right one always disconnects um and i think that the if you can actually control the pumps from the app that would be awesome like if i can pause it or turn it up that would be awesome because that means less times i have to actually reach into my shirt to make adjustments and um, I think it would be next level if you can actually close the air vent from the app, Willow. Think about it. Uh, because um, that's something else that I was going to talk about. So we could just move on into that. Uh, so before you remove the pump, there's uh, switches at the top of the reusable container. One means that the vent is open, which allows air to come in for suctioning to pump. And two means that the air vent, vent is closed, uh, which means uh, you can do your flip to finish and the milk shouldn't leak from the top. Um, and that's very important because uh, as you can see earlier in my vlog, as you can see earlier in my vlog, I, um, I talked about spilling my milk, uh, which nobody likes to do. Spilling breast milk is probably one of the most depressing things you could do as a mother. Uh, because it you know some of us have difficulties keeping up with our baby's needs so to spill milk is actually very upsetting um so i hate when that happened um so what i've been having problems with one of my containers is they leak so when i do the flip to finish even when i turn it to the number two setting sometimes this thing still leaks and i can't figure out why it still leaks 
I um, push it to the two as far as possible. I tap it a few times to make sure that I have it as far as possible. But for some reason, when I do my flip to finish, uh, when it first, it does that first pump, literally it leaks milk. And it's not like drips, like it's a full blown spill uh, to a point where I just don't continue to do the flip to finish, put it back straight, let it go through the flip to finish cycle and just uh, pour it out uh, from the flange and the uh, flex tube uh, directly. Uh, so let me show you what this looks like when you take it off. So this is the container when you take it off. Uh, so what happens is milk gets backed up in this flex tube. Uh, so when I do the flip, flip to finish and it starts to spill and I, I just stop doing it so I don't lose milk. Um, what I do is I squeeze the flex tube and then I just pour it right out the flange into a bottle. Uh, which I still end up spilling a little bit of milk so it still is very much frustrating. Um, but that's probably going to be the least way possible to lose uh, the least amount of milk. Um, so I still haven't figured that out. Still working on that, but it's very upsetting. Uh, I've been meaning to call the number. They do have a hotline for you to call for you to uh, pretty much get troubleshooting or for them to help you uh, use the product better. But I haven't had the opportunity to do so. And especially because I haven't been exclusively using the pump and I've been using my Medela too. Um, I haven't found it absolutely necessary yet, uh, but I do have intentions on calling about that. So that's another thing about uh, the Willow Pump. Um, other than that, I think um, the Willow Pump has uh, removed a lot of fear of me being out and about and not being able to feed my baby uh, because of most other pumps aren't... Um, portable like that even though my Medela pump did come with a battery pack that you can plug in and you can pump but i just can't imagine being in a car or somebody's house uh and putting all those tubes and plugging me up to the machine like that um i've literally put these pumps on and sat in a living room full of people uh and they didn't notice that i was pumping i've actually done it multiple times now um usually when i remove it people are like oh were you pumping I've heard about that pump and things of that nature, but for the most part, um, there's not like an awkwardness when you're in a room full of people and you're using it, um, especially if you have something loose on. Like I, I wear a lot of sweatshirts and hoodies and things of that nature, so it's less obvious, but of course, if you're wearing a tight fitted shirt, you'll see the pump. They're pretty big. Uh, but even then, I don't I don't think it's a, a really big deal because it's not like, you know, you see what's happening underneath the shirt. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people sit in public places and breastfeed. Some people breastfeed without even putting a, like a, a blanket or something over them. It's more power to them. Uh, if your baby's hungry, your baby's hungry. I don't know if you guys ever dealt with a hungry baby before, but it's kind of nerve wracking. So the only thing you really want to do is provide food for your baby. So you got to do what you got to do. So A plus to Willow for creating something truly portable. Um, the only thing that I can see a lot of people having problems with is the, is the price. Oh, his dad has him. <laughs> but yeah, the... The only thing that I can think of people having problems with is uh, the price and uh, that two week learning curve it takes for you to actually get comfortable using the product. Um, some people might be able to get comfortable with the product a lot faster, but it took me about two weeks before uh, and a couple different bras before um, I actually got good pumps. Um, so that was actually really freaking me out because I was trying to exclusively use the product um, so I could get used to it. But at the same time, my baby was hungry, so I needed to pump. Um, so I was torn in between just giving up on exclusively using the product um, to get used to it uh, and just going back to my old pump so I could provide food for my hungry son. Um, but truly, it takes some practice with positioning 
and uh, there is um, bras that Willow recommends on their site. They are very, very expensive. I think they're like $50. I don't about, know about y'all, but I'm not buying a $50 bra. Um, so I researched online. Uh, I found some articles of some bras that were recommended on Amazon that were way more cost efficient. If you're interested, the one that I end up getting to work, I will link in the description box below. Uh, so check that out. Um, there are other ones out there, but they get pretty costly. Uh, but I think the most important thing about the nursing bra that you use is um, it has to be... It's kind of like a V-neck shape type of nursing bra. Um, it comes up... The fabric is thicker that comes up on the side. And because of that, it's able to hold the pump closer at the top, which is important. Uh, because if it isn't like a snug fit at the top as well as at the bottom, you uh, don't get a proper suction. Which was my problem with uh, a few of the bras that I use. Um, I tried to use some existing ones that I have. I have uh, some pump bras that, you know, have the holes on it to hold the... Um, flange on my Medela pump and then I have nursing bras for when I do breastfeed I usually wear those when I'm out and about and I know that I'm not going to be using my uh, other pump but those neither one of those bras work uh worked for my willow pump so I had to then go buy more nursing bras that still work for nursing when I'm out and about uh, but they just shaped slightly different so bras are very very important with this product which is kind of annoying because it's just like just work but, you know, it is a very, you know, special product. So, you know, you need a bra to support it, whatever. So bras do matter. But yeah, back to pricing. Uh, the pump alone, I think was like 49. I mean, I'm sorry. The pump alone was $499, I want to say. And, uh, or was it $599? It might have been $599. I'll put the correct price below. Uh, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was $5.99, and then I bought the, the reusable container, which uh, was an additional $49.99. Um, I haven't even tried the bags. I wore, I read so many reviews about the bags getting a lot of air in them and uh, not being able to reuse the bags. Uh, so my thing, if I'm only pumping one ounce from one boob throughout the day, I mean, when I consistently pump, um, every three hours and I'm getting two from the other boob that is not worth me using a bag for like I'm not about to use a bag to pump only one ounce in it that sounds ridiculous and the bags are pretty pricey um, I think you get like a 25 pack for like 25 bucks or something like that they're they're pretty expensive um, and you can only use those bags I have my own bags I don't need willow circle bring bags it's not that serious i just need to be able to get the milk out and then i can pour it in my own bag uh, that i buy from amazon in bulk for not that much money at all um so because of the reviews that i've read i haven't even attempted to use the bags that they sent uh with the pump they send like 24 with the pump um so mind you that's only 12 sessions if you think about it because you use two bags per pump session if you're doing both boobs at the same time uh so i can imagine going through those really 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 fast um my sister-in-law made a really good point uh to say that what if you're like pumping in a car or something and it's not easy for you to transfer it in a bottle to store it then it's kind of helpful for you to have the bag um i might eventually try that but i haven't ran into that problem yet um, I've been doing a really good job with pumping so much in advance that I have my little Modelo bottles that I travel with. Um, really the only reason for me to like pump on the go is because I need to pump. Like I have to pump, like I have to pump a certain amount of times a day to keep up with my supply. That's pretty much it. Uh, so is it worth the damn near $600 I spent? Um, I'm going to say yes. And it probably feels much more of a yes because of the fact that I haven't 100% paid for it yet. So yes, Willow does offer payment arrangements. They do have a firm on their website. So you can um, pay for it in six payments. So for me, it's like $100 a month uh, because I bought the container with it as well. And I have that on a payment arrangement. 
so because of that, it makes it seems a little bit more affordable, even though it's still very, very expensive. And I do know a lot of you moms um, are on a tighter budget than I'm probably um, on. Uh, so you might really, really have to sit there and think about how portable do you need a, a, a breast pump? Um, do you see yourself pumping more on the go? Are you a working mom that that that's looking for a solution um, that's more discreet and um, easier to tote around? Um, it is actually way easier to tote this around than it is my Modelo part. I mean pump because there's the box with the tubes, and then you gotta bring the pump, the other pump parts, the flange, uh, the, the flex tube. I mean, y'all know what I mean. You had to tote around all that stuff. This is way easier to just stick in a diaper bag or stick in, stick in my backpack. Uh, it doesn't really take up that much space. Uh, so easier to tote around. Uh, but then again, I will say the worst thing about this product is having to clean all of these parts. Cleaning this container is not fun. And I can imagine, you know, you have to do less of that if you were to uh, use the bags. Uh, so I hate I hate cleaning it. Uh, so I only use it when I need to. Um, oh, and lastly, before I conclude this video, another pro of using this product is you can lean all the way back um, into like a recline position when you use this product, and it actually works better when you do. Uh, so when you are in a reclining position, I think the suction is better, uh, so it pumps out um, easier. Uh, so with that being said, I've probably fallen asleep using this product four or five times already uh, to a point where I just wake up and they're, they shut off because they only run for like 25 minute intervals. Uh, so it runs for 25 minutes and pause. So you have to hit the button again and then it will continue and it will only run for about 25 minutes again. Um, so I've fallen asleep with them completely shut it off and just woke up and taken them off. Uh, the only bad thing about falling asleep with them, if you needed to reposition them, uh, you missed that opportunity because you were you were fucking asleep. Um, so I, I do appreciate that when I'm super exhausted at night and I don't want to sit in my little special seat and pump with my Medela pump. Um, I can literally just throw these on and lay down. If I fall asleep, it's not terrible. Uh, if I put it in a good enough position in the first place, it should have done its job by the time I woke up. Um, so yeah, that is an added benefit as well for you sleepy moms out there. Um, so, uh, I will say, you know, for the most part, thumbs up. If I was to rate the product, um, on a scale of one to five, I would give it a four or 3.75. 3.75 sounds about right and only because of the fact that the product is very expensive and you have to get special bras to make the product work and um, I do uh, have too many um, experiences with spilling milk so because of those three things um, pushes me a little bit back off of a four um, and then the I would say most pros about it is the position that I can actually pump in, uh, the portability, if that's a word, I think it is, um, and uh, just convenience, uh, being able to pump on the go. Uh, so moms, think about what you're looking for uh, with this product when you uh, purchase it. Um, it is a bit of a challenge getting started with it, so keep that in consideration and bear with um, the experience and the learning process. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my review on this Willow Pump. Um, you might see me with a follow-up when I finally do get the opportunity to use these damn bags. Uh, but for the most part, that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I have some exciting things um, coming up. Uh, a lot of reviews. Um, a lot of uh, just story times about being a new mom. Uh, for all the new moms out there, I know it's helpful to, you know, chat amongst us. Uh, I spend a lot of time on my Instagram doing polls and things of that nature. 
talking about different things with different moms, old moms, new moms, uh, to a uh, coming soon moms, all types of moms. Uh, so subscribe to my channel. Um, I will start doing a uh, like a workout journey. Um, I am six weeks postpartum, going on seven. Um, so I am uh, pretty much clear to work out. So I'm excited about starting to work out again. So look out for videos of that nature as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. I'm I'm looking like a mom right now, and I don't really give a fuck. This is y'all.